Artis Eko Nugroho set to perform his latest project, Samela or God Bliss, at the Institute Francais in Yogyakarta prior to the United States' release in January. Samela tells the story of how Islam came to Java and became absorbed as a part of Javanese culture that included elements of Hinduism, Buddhism, and animism. Eko is one of Indonesia's most provocative young artists, whose style is a unique mix of the nation's rich traditions and popular culture, tinged with dark humor. He came to maturity during the upheaval and reform following the 1997 Asian financial crisis, subsequent fall of Suharto regime, and transition to democracy in Indonesia. His creations are grounded in both local tradition and global popular culture, with influences from contemporary street art, graffiti, and comics. Inspired by Javanese shadow puppet play, in 2008, Echo created Wayang Bochor a modification of traditional puppet figures that were used in the old days to present stories from Ramayana and Mahabharata. Wayang Bochor is also more dynamic than its traditional form. It explores collaboration between various interdisciplinary artists. In his latest project, Semela, Echo drew figures from his imagination and mixed the visual aesthetics with paintings, statues, embroideries, and animation. While the play includes a narrator to guide the audience and actors who play different roles. Deeply engaged with the culture, Echo's contemporary art form illustrates socio-political condition in Indonesia.